We're at the Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest and we're able to hang out yet again with another artist and this is Adrian Quesada. Yeah. You're going to do it. Yeah, from do Grupo Ventasma yeah. and that's a great band from Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, ten other people in the band beside you, we're going to hear a great sound tonight. It's loud, that's for sure, but we're, yeah, we're a ten-piece band based out of Austin, Texas. So, and you, all, you also have a new album. I'm going to let you say that one, too. The album is called Sonidos Gold, and it's available now. I think it came out a few weeks ago, and I th apparently you have heard it. Yeah, yeah. We got uh, a copy of the song that uh, you do with Maceo Parker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's called Give Me Some. It's called Give Me Some, yeah, featuring Maceo Parker. Unfortunately, he won't be here with us tonight, but uh, he's here with us in spirit. So. Yeah. It seems like you've had a lot of um, um, kind of luck with uh, the people that you work with, Maceo Parker. Then you did that residency with Prince in, in Las Vegas. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was amazing. Obviously, uh, Prince is um, our hero. He's our idol and mentor of ours. But, um, yeah, that's how we met Maceo Parker and a lot of our you know heroes that, that actually play in Prince's band. So, yeah, we met up with Prince in late 2006, and we started doing um, every Thursday at his club in Las Vegas. And then he started kind of inviting us out to his house for parties just various things that we backed him up at and um, we did some TV shows with him and we've opened for him you know everywhere from uh, London at the O2 Arena which used to be the Millennium Dome to shows in Florida all over the place so we've been lucky enough to work with him and and um, you know that's the only reason uh, we were able to connect with Maceo Parker yeah. on that level so it's so nice when stuff like that happens for you serendipity and um, you never probably could have imagine that, that that would be something that you'd be playing with both those guys. Oh, not at all. Never. We've been doing this for eight years, 150 shows a year, and, you know, we just work hard. We continue to do our thing. So when things like that happen, it's always a blessing. So you mix it up, right? A little funk, a little salsa, a little reggae. Uh, was that all the, were all those styles always a part of your uh, sound? Yeah, to tell you the truth, um, we all grew up listening to Latin music, but as we became, you know, so as we started playing music and really became teenagers, most of us got into what most teenagers were into, you know, hip hop, heavy metal, punk rock, all that kind of stuff. And um, late high school, a bunch of us started playing funk, and actually originally we used to be a funk band. So when we started kind of reaching back to our roots and trying to, to really kind of put together a Latin band, that, that funk influence was always there, and so was everything else that we grew up with. So it's all a natural process for us to interpret Latin music the way we do, you know, which is with like leaning towards funk and leaning towards a little bit of everything else. Mm -hmm. That must make it interesting too for you all. Oh yeah, it's fun. <laughs> well, thanks so much for spending some time with us, Adrian. We can't wait to he uh, hear your set. So nice to be with you tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Okay. Barbara Dacey at the Cisco Ottawa Blues Fest for MVYradio.com.